Hello everybody, welcome back to another War Thunder news video. And today we're talking about the new upcoming tank event for the PLZ-83-130, which is not the most exciting name, but hey, it's a Chinese tank and they're not very good at naming their vehicles. So before we get stuck in, I'd like to say thank you once again for 2,000 subscribers. It means a lot that we got to this milestone and there's a sort of bonus. If you haven't already, do check out my part two to the vehicles the planes that I want added to War Thunder. I will be putting a link to that video in this video description. And of course, come along tomorrow for Friday Games number 20, our 2000 subscriber special, our live stream that we do weekly from 5 till 7 p.m. UK time. So I hope to see you there. But today we're talking about this new tank. Well, it's kind of new anyway. So if you remember the uh, recent call of the dragon event where you'd ground out that top tier russian tank with the 152 millimeter gun well now we've got it again so basically we've had the tank event we had the plane event and then we had the boat event and now we're back to the tank event fortunately this is a rank 5 vehicle rather than rank 7 so it should be easier to unlock it is an experimental version of the plz 83 which is already in game Instead of using a 152 mil gun, it uses a 130 mil gun, which in itself is a copy of the M46. It's this cannon that's made this tank a truly unique vehicle. Choose your attack positions wisely and take advantage of the high velocity of your powerful shells to guarantee a hit. Okay, so uh, these are also other decals that will be available through the uh, event. Among the rewards, in the event is also this chest where when opened brings the chance to w receive one of the following items uh, a lackluster amount of silver some silver boosters random wages universal backups a random camouflage for a vehicle you own and a day of premium how to get these rewards this time you only need 35,000 mission points which I believe last time was 45,000 so now it's 10,000 points easier which is Still going to be a lot, because you have to do this, what, eight or nine times, I think? Uh, oh, no, only seven times. Okay. Is that more or less? I'm not sure. Okay, but it's easier overall. You'll be able to earn mission points in ground battles at rank three or above in arcade, realistic, or simulator. The number of mission points to complete a stage depends on the game mode once again, and the maximum rank of the vehicle that you use in battle. Basically, you earn less if you... Uh, well, ground battles, you'll earn more points than arcade, and sim, you'll earn more. Um, yeah, it goes arcade, realistic, and simulator in an ascending order of how many points you can earn. Also, the higher the tier vehicle you use, the more points you earn as well. You can also earn mission points by using event vehicles that are rank 1 and 2. Event vehicles can that can be used have the name of the event that they were obtainable in on their stat card. So... These are, uh, they change every two days, so you've got two days to get 35,000 mission score, and it will start on April 26th and end on the 6th of May. So April 26th is next week. In fact, I'm pretty sure that is in a week. I could be wrong. And uh, let's see, is there anything else interesting? To be honest, it's kind of a dud, this one. It's not too exciting, really, unless you're a hardcore Chinese main, which um, not many people are. You can, of course, purchase uh, some of the stages, and that price will decrease the further the amount of progress that you have in. So, uh, if you complete all seven, you'll get a non-tradable coupon for the PLZ 83130. By using it, will immediately activate the vehicle onto your account. If you don't want the vehicle and you would like to sell it, you'll need the upgrade for coupon. The upgrade for coupon can be earned in parallel with the stages throughout the event and you need 600,000 mission score. So it's not as bad as the last one but it's still pretty bad. 750,000 I think was the score for last time. Either way you're gonna have to do more or less double the amount of work that you would normally want to do if you want to sell it rather than if you want to keep it. So there you go. Um, not the most interesting uh, let's have a look at what the community has to say. This is always a good laugh. Four hard pass events in a row. Never change, Gaijin. Um, USMC anti-tank decal for a Chinese howitzer event. Is there any kind of explanation? This is not a Chinese event. Main prize f is for the Chinese tech tree, that's all. So the basically the other prizes are random. To be honest, they kind of 
fumbled the ball last time as well when they called it Call of the Dragon and celebrated the Chinese New Year. But the main reward was a Russian vehicle. So it's like, okay. Um, okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Seems people are generally happy about it being easier to get. Okay, interesting. Um, so let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts on this vehicle are. But before we're done, I spied another dev blog. The Battle Pass has started receiving, been receiving more dev blogs. And I just want to quickly look at what that vehicle's name was. What was the last event tanks called? The 292, the Object 292. You'd think I'd remember because the amount of pain I went to get it. So the Battle Pass has the USS Flagstaff, which is a hydrofoil boat and is that a Sheridan turret holy crap what the hell is this that is weird um, I like that that's funny I mean I don't care about naval uh, in this game but that is a cute little addition and why does that one not have one uh, seems like you can actually change what gun is on it which is weird um, does it say anything more about that Yeah, because that looks like a 40 mil, whereas that's definitely, obviously, the Sheridan's turret. So, I don't know how that works. Okay. Ah, you'll be able to pick between the Sheridan tank's turret and uh, a 40 mil Bofors. I don't know why you choose the Bofors, because, well, the Sheridan's turret is what makes this thing funky and unique. But the thing I actually wanted to talk about was this, and time to have a bit of a moan at Gaijin. Look, we got another P-51C! Yes, that's right, as if we didn't have enough of them already, and this is the third P-51C that's been a Battle Pass reward. Why, oh why, Gaijin? Please, just dump this into an update somewhere, don't give it devblog, just let people discover it on their own. This does not need to be front page news, this is taking up much needed space for more interesting vehicles. I just made two videos on planes I'd rather have in the game. I know this isn't a top tier, but this is a copy-paste. I don't mind having more World War II planes, even if they are very similar to each other. Like, for example, I wouldn't mind another four variants of the B-25 Mitchell, for example. But I do not want them instead of more interesting things. I want them as well as more interesting things. So, yeah, it's a P-51C. There are, uh, I think, four of these already in-game, and uh, there's not really any difference between any of them. Wow, let's see what the community has to say about this thing. Uh, nothing yet. Um, yeah. Actually, you know what? I'll be first. I will be first. Wow. The third P-51C in a battle pass. Um, yeah, moderate that. Seriously, like, why? Very disappointing with that. Hopefully the rest of the, maybe the tank will be interesting, which is a shame because the plane is the one in the battle pass I look forward to most. And yeah, especially as I don't play China anymore, this is such a disappointing aircraft to have. Does it even have a cool alternative camo? You can't even see it. Oh, great. It's not going to tell us what it is. Oh well, well there you go. Three new vehicles, although only one is technically, um, well, one is technically not new at all. So there you go, let me know down in the comments below what you think of these upcoming new vehicles. Will you be grinding the Inferno Cannon event? And of course, take care, I'll catch you in the next one.